Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our fifth installment on the Kaspersky Unified Monitoring and Analysis Platform. In today's session, we are going to be speaking uh, towards the conversation of Kaspersky Security Center and integrating the Security Center into our Kuma platform. Now, with that being said, what we are going to right out, out of the gate, we're going to start doing is we're going to start with connecting to the Kaspersky Security Center. To do that, we're going to go to Settings and then go to Kaspersky Security Center and we're going to click on Add Parameters for a New Tenant. Now, we need to add a new connection by first, number one, entering the connection name, specifying the Kaspersky Security Center address with port 13299. And by the way, this is a default port um, that's been used, but nonetheless, you can go ahead and change that in the Security Center itself, should it be required. Thirdly, we are going to create um, or specify the secret in which to connect to the Kaspersky Security Center. So when creating a new secret for a connection, we're going to enter its name. So for example, KSC creds or Kaspersky Security Center credentials, whatever your preference. Then we're going to specify the login and password of a previously created user with the necessary rights. Now, the rights that this user needs can be checked in the appropriate documentation, and that can be found on help.kaspersky.com. Additionally, um, to complete the integration, we are going to click on Import KSC Assets, and we're going to save everything. Now, let's take a look at working with these assets within Kuma. First, we're going to open up the Assets tab. So now you can note that in addition to importing assets from the KSC, they can also be set manually or imported by API. So on the left, you can see the categorization tree. And if needed, you can add new categories and even subcategories. So now I'll show you how to create a location subcategory. For this, you'll need to create new subcategory basically uh, we, you're going to enter a new name for example Germany or Moscow or you know whatever location you need to enter in that then we're going to select the categorization method now there are several options that's available uh, in total three so we have manually now manually um, later you'll need to obviously distribute these assets manually hence the name the second one is actively. So it dynamically distributes assets based on the specified conditions that you create. And then thirdly, and the final option is reactively. So reactively means that we're going to move assets to the category after the correlation rule is triggered. As you can see, a reaction. Now, we can also uh, go ahead and we need to set the assets importance. Now it will be added to these alerts and of course this is very um, helpful for us in a day-to-day -day operation perspective. So for example if an alert has a low level of importance but the asset involved has a high level of importance then this alert's importance level will be increased to high because that is asset is of a critical nature. Right. Now you can move your assets to the subcategory manually. As already mentioned, Kuma supports automatic categorization. For this, we'll create an operating system category and Windows subcategories. When creating the Windows subcategory, we'll choose the active categorization method. Now we set the regularity of categorization and we add conditions so the workstations running on Windows are added to the category. To do this, we select the operating system field and I like as an operator and specify Windows in the value to exclude servers from being included. And we add the condition, if not OS, I like equals server, right. So when we select the save or click on the save button, the assets will be categorized automatically. Now, let's create the Windows Server category. To do this, um, repeat the previous steps, but this time specify OS 
I like equals Windows Server. Now you can add this category to your bookmark so you can switch to it quickly later. You can also search by existing assets. We can use the builder or just use the search bar. For example, let's find the workstation whose owner is Bob Dylan. So we can just search for Bob, for example. And now we'll find the station with IP address 10.68.85.50. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a very brief and quick um, closure to our fifth entry into our series on Kuma. Hopefully this session has been helpful to you and we hope to see you in the next one. Thank you and goodbye.